In this video, we will learn how to derive the tax incidence formula using supply and demand and using the price elasticity of demand and price elasticity of supply. And specifically, we will see the impact of per unit tax, that is the excess duty on the supply function using demand and supply. Okay. Uh, to derive this formula, let me give an example. Let us say we are being given the elasticity of uh, demand of a product is being given as minus 0.5 and elasticity of supply of the product is being given as one, okay? Then the fraction of tax paid by the consumers, okay? Or tax incidence on consumers, let me write it here. So the fraction of tax, tax paid, by, paid by consumers, consumers is being given by the formula that is uh, elasticity of supply divided by elasticity of supply minus elasticity of demand okay if elasticity of supply is one so we can write one upon one uh, minus elasticity of demand is yes, minus 0 0.5 this becomes one upon one plus 0 0.5 which in terms comes out to be 1.5 and we can write it like this uh, 15 upon 10 uh, reciprocating it will become 10 upon 15 which gives us 5 uh, 2 is 10, 5 3 is 15. That means the fraction of tax that is being paid by the consumers will be equal to 2 third. Okay. Simple thing if $1 is being, uh, if $1 uh, specific uh, tax or per unit tax is being imposed, then consumers will borrow, uh, will borrow, you know, shoulder 2 third of the tax and the remaining one third will be borne by the seller. Simple thing, if per unit tax of one dollar is being imposed on supply, then consumers will borne two third of the tax and sellers will borne one third of the tax. Okay, so um, simple thing, let us say if uh, six dollars let us say if six dollars of the per unit tax is being imposed okay then consumers will pay if uh, these are the given elasticity of demand and supply in this case consumers will you know pay two third of a six dollars that means six which comes out to be four dollars of the tax and sellers will pay one third of this uh, six dollar per unit tax, which comes out to be uh, two dollars. Okay, uh, the thing is simple. When uh, there was a six dollar per unit tax, consumers will pay four dollars in the form of higher prices and sellers will pay two dollars in the form of lower prices compared to the old equilibrium okay now let's try to derive this formula which i have written here okay so let me let us derive then this now uh, a simple thing let us say pc denotes the price paid by the consumers minus ps let us say it is price received by sellers it will be equal to tax okay the difference between the price that is being paid by the consumers and the price that the sellers will receive will be equal to the tax okay now uh, change in the price paid by consumers minus change in the price paid by sellers will be equal to change in tax simple thing now if i write it uh, in the fashion that is uh, d p s if i transpose it here it will become positive so d p s will be equal to uh, d p c minus d t okay that is change in price uh, you know received by sellers will be equal to change in price paid by the consumers minus the change in tax okay now to maintain the equilibrium so to maintain the equilibrium uh, in the demand and supply okay what we need to see we need to see that our 
let me write it here to maintain maintain equilibrium equilibrium change in quantity demanded let's denote it by q super, uh, superscript d that is quantity demanded should be equal to the change in quantity supplied okay and here you can see quantity demanded let me write it here uh, quantity demanded quantity demanded as we know will be the function of the price uh, paid by the consumers okay so quantity demanded will be the function of price okay then change in quantity demanded will be equal to change in quantity demanded with respect to change in the price paid by the consumers times change in the price paid by the consumer so we take the total differential here and symmetrically we know uh, quantity supplied is also the function of price that means price received by sellers and if we take uh, here the total differential that means uh, d q s will be equal to so taking uh, total differential it will become d q s upon d p s into d p s okay when we use the total differential here now change in quantity demanded is equal to this uh, d q d upon dpc okay times dpc and change in quantity supplied here we have calculated it came out to be d q s upon dps times d p s okay i hope i am making myself clear now you can see here this dps we have derived this very relationship so let us plug this value here then our d q d upon d p c times d p c will be equal to d q s upon d p s and here in the, uh, you know in this place dps i will write this uh, relation that is uh, d p c minus d t okay now solving it further we can write it uh, in this fashion uh, this is d q d upon d p c times d p c is equal to multiplying this to each of these terms so we have dqs upon dps times this dpc minus again dqs upon dps times dt now after that what will we do here we will divide both sides by this dt okay so if i divide let me uh, you know save some space here i don't have so let's divide both sides by dp uh, this dt so here let's divide it by dt here we also divide by dt in each of these terms so here we have also dt okay here dt and dt will get cancelled so uh, let me rub this out uh, to make the space for the video so uh, these terms will get cancelled and if i uh, if i transpose this term here it will become positive so our uh, dqs upon dps okay these cancel out so we are left with one here only will be equal to then we have 
d q s upon d p s times d p c upon d t and transposing this here we have minus d q d upon d p c times d p c upon d t okay i am really sorry for the background noise i cannot control that okay so you have to bear this now let's uh, take this d p c upon d t d p c upon d t common so we have d p c upon d t common and we are left here only with d q s upon d p s minus d q d upon d p c here okay so here we have this d q s upon d p s now what will i do here i will just transpose this term to on this uh, side that means our d p c so let me use the proper color so our uh, d p c upon d t will be equal to uh, d q s upon d p s uh, okay divide by divide by this term which is uh, which is here d q s upon d p s minus d q d upon d p c okay now we will do one thing here again what will we do here let us multiply numerator and denominator by p by q okay here we also multiply by p by q p by q and to this we also multiply p by q okay so let me write this negative sign also so if we take p by q here common it will get multiplied with this sorry it will get cancelled with this p by q in the numerator part okay i have done this uh, with certain purpose because if you carefully see this is the formula for elasticity of supply so let me write it here so this is actually elasticity of supply dqs upon dps times p upon q divided by here also dqs upon dps times p upon q is elasticity of supply minus this dqd upon dpc into p upon q so this shows us the elasticity of demand you know it very well that means the tax incidence depends upon the elasticity of supply and demand who bears the more burden of the tax depends upon the relatively elastic uh, you know relatively the elast uh, elastic side whether uh, demand is uh, more elastic or supply is more elastic it depends upon that very factor which bear who bears rather uh, the more tax incidence simple thing is here if you can see the relatively inelastic side of the market bears the most of the tax burden okay so if we have elasticity of demand and we have elasticity of supply m between these two okay which one of these uh, is more inelastic in absolute terms okay if elast if elasticity of supply is inelastic compared to the elasticity of demand then sellers will bear the most of the tax burden if demand side is relatively inelastic compared to elasticity of supply then consumers will bear the most of the tax burden okay 
So the relatively inelastic side, inelastic side of the market bears the most of the tax burden. Okay, uh, between demand and supply, whosoever is more inelastic will pay more tax burden. Simple thing. Okay, I hope I make myself clear. Thank you.